Do you have difficulty with math? Worry no more because I have a solution for you. Let's have math classes with Mamshi. See you in class. Welcome to our general mathematics class week 4A. This time we are going to discuss representing real life situations using one to one function. Our objective is at the end of this discussion, the students will be able to represent real life situations using one to one function. So, what is a one to one function? A function f of x is 1 to 1 if x sub 1 is not equal to x sub 2, then f of x sub 1 is not equal to f of x sub 2. So it only means that we can say that a function is 1 to 1 if we have the domain which are not equal and so the range or the output of the function will also not equal and if we have the converse of this one if x sub 1 is equal to x sub 2 then our f of x sub 1 will also equal to our x sub 2 this is the converse statement of the statement that if x sub 1 is not equal to x sub 2 then f of x sub 1 must not equal to our f of x sub 2. Then we can say that the functions are one-to-one -one functions. Okay? So we have here an example in real-life situation. The pairing of the learner and their respective learner reference number. As you have observed, each learner in our school have a different LRN and there is no the same LRN for two students or for more than one student. That is why we can say that this real life situation represents a one to one function. So let's continue. We have here an example because I'm a fan of Naruto, so I made this an example. We have here Hinata and Naruto. They are paired together. And also, we have here Sasuke and... Who's this one? Sakura. Okay, so Sasuke and Sakura are also paired to each other. So we can say this, that this is one-to-one -one function. And it's not possible that we would pair Sakura to Naruto. Because this one, Sasuke, will be angry. So... This will never be a one-to-one -one function if you try to pair these two because we have already paired Sakura and Sasuke and also Hinata with Naruto. So they can never pair to each to the other one's pair. Okay? So this can't be considered as one-to-one -one function if they pair with the other one. I hope you understand that. Let's continue. I have here a hugot line. Sana one to one functions na lang tayo. Bakit? Para ako sayo at ikai akin din. Walang ibang partner. Okay, so for one to one function, you can never be a partner of the other groups of domain, but whichever, whoever your partner is, that will also be your partner until the and that is for one-to-one -one function. Okay, let's continue with other examples. Determine if the pairing, pairing is one-to-one -one or not. Number one, a relation pairing a person and its passport. Have you seen two persons having only one passport? No. And have you seen a person having different kinds of passport? It's not possible also. So... One passport for one person in every country. So it means that this one is a one-to-one -one function. Next, 
a relation pairing, a person, and its bank account. Can a person have a multiple bank account? I think it's yes, because I can open a bank account from different banks. So this cannot be considered as one-to-one -one function. Let's continue. A relation pairing, a man and its wife. In a country where monogamy is practiced, like here in the Philippines, we can say that a man can only marry one woman. But for Muslims, they can marry many. But based on our preference, okay, as a Christian, because most of us are Christians anyway, here in our school, so a man can only have only one wife. And that is considered as one-to-one -one function. Let's proceed to number four. A relation pairing a child and its toys. Can a child have many toys? Yes. And so we cannot consider it as one-to-one -one function. Let's continue. This is an example number four. A relation pairing to a le leopard. Example number five, rather. Leopard and its spot pattern do you know that a leopard have a unique spot pattern so it means that each leopard has its own unique pattern and so we can say that this example is one to one function and last one a relation pairing a human and its fingerprint Notice that each person or each human has its own unique fingerprint. And so, we can say that this is a one-to-one -one function. So, I think that's all that I can say about one-to-one -one function. And we are done with our discussions with quarter one, week 4A. For those who are new to my channel, just subscribe to my channel, click subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be updated of my latest videos. Thank you for watching and I hope you learned a lot from me.